Joints for sound. Two, two, three. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. Oh, my soul, praise Him for He is the help and salvation. Are you here not to His presence running? forth before your people, marching with them and living among them, the earth trembled, heaven poured down rain. Hallelujah. Psalm 68, verse 8 to 9 and verse 20. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Good, Good morning, morning, Father. We offer our Mass this morning for all the intentions we have been praying for. We continue to pray for our world that God in His goodness will bring an end to this pandemic that has significantly changed a lot of things in our world today. We pray for our economy, we pray for our families, we pray for the sick, all those who are sick, whether of the virus or of other ailments, asking for God's divine intervention in their lives. We pray for our children, we pray for our spouses, we pray for our aged parents, we pray for all those who have requested our prayers for them. We pray for those who celebrate their birthdays today, asking for God's blessings and peace and provisions in their lives. We pray for our parishioners here. We pray for our doctors and our nurses. We pray for our leaders, our spiritual leaders, our government authorities, our civil authorities. We ask for God's intervention in our lives. For all these intentions, and for the intentions in our hearts as we partake of this Mass, we present all of them to God, trusting that whatever we ask, we shall get answers to. Whatever we seek, we shall find. Whenever we knock, the door will be opened unto us. May it be so for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins and pray for God's forgiveness and for pardon. I confess to Almighty God and, and you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, may He forgive us our sins, and bring us life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the pastor's sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people, so that Christ our High Priest, interceding on our behalf, may by his likeness to ourselves bring us reconciliation, and by his equality with you, free us from all our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles In those days, when the officers had brought the apostles, they set them before the council, and the high priest questioned them, saying, We strictly charged you not to teach in this name, yet here you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching, and you intend to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised Jesus, whom you killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at the right hand as leader and savior to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are witnesses to, of these things. And so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they were enraged and wanted to kill them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to the Lord. The Lonely One called and the Lord heard him. The Lonely One called and the Lord heard him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Praise of him is always in my mouth. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who seeks refuge in him. The Lord is one called and the Lord heard him. The Lord turns his face against the wicked to destroy their remembrance from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears and rescues them in all their distress. The lonely one called, and, and the, the Lord, Lord heard him. him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. Many are the trials of the just man, but from them all the Lord will rescue him. The, the lonely one, one called, and, and the Lord heard him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to Jesus Christ. Jesus said to Nicodemus, He who comes from above is above all. He who, us, he who is of the earth belongs to the earth, and of the earth it speaks. He who comes from heaven is above all. He bears witness to what he has seen and heard. Yet, no one receives his testimony. He who receives his testimony sets his seal to this, that God is true. For he whom God has sent utters the words of God, for it is not by measure that he gives the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given all things into his hand. He who believes in the Son has 
eternal life. He who does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God rests upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus. Honor to Mary. Based on the miraculous deliverance of Peter and John from the prison, which we read about yesterday, one would have thought that the Sanhedrin, the chief priest, and so on, would just let the disciples carry on with their mission. Because they arrested them, and the next day, they were in prison. The chief priest would have said, okay, ah, these people, since they now have extraordinary power to appear and disappear, why should we still be troubling ourselves about them? However, as we read today, Peter and John are back before the council again answering questions. Indeed, as our psalmist today sings, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. In truth, just as Jesus earlier warned, we are sent as sheep in the midst of wolves. Just as darkness hits the light, so do the people of the world hit the children of God. Jesus said, he who comes from above is above all, and he, he who is of the earth belongs to the earth. So those who belong to the earth, they hate those who come from above. Those who belong to darkness, they hate those who stand for the light. But we cannot afford to be quiet or to compromise. We must always remember the fact that we do not belong to this world. That is, we must be prepared to die for the sake of God. This is what fueled Peter's courage when he boldly said to the high priest, we must obey God rather than men. Acts 5.29 In authoring these words, Peter did not mind being killed at that moment. He had the courage, he had the boldness to say to the high priest that you killed Jesus. You were the ones responsible for his death. And Jesus is our Lord and Master and we will continue to proclaim the name of Christ. Peter is no longer the fearful man who could not even defend Jesus before a little girl on the night of Jesus' arrest. Peter is such a transformed man now. Unfortunately, many of us are still like the old Peter. We are still too scared to die for our faith. We keep denying Jesus by condescending to sin for fear of losing our life, losing our friends, or losing money. As Jesus asks us, what shall it profit if we gave the whole world only to lose the only thing that really matters, our soul? Matthew 8, 36 to 37. In our gospel passage today, we hear Jesus saying to Nicodemus, He who believes in the Son has eternal life, but he who does not obey the Son shall not see life, and the wrath of God rests upon him. John 3, 36. Peter must have borne this statement in mind when he said, we must obey God rather than 
men. Peter was prepared to disobey men and suffer in their hands than to disobey God, knowing that was worse. Indeed, as Jesus told us, do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Matthew 10, 28. Do not be afraid of people. Make God your priority. May God bless his words in our hearts. Amen. Amen. Psalm 309. What a blessed hope is mine. To love Acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all the Holy Church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with pastor joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift to pray by sending down the spirits upon them that the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Augustine, Acobesia, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we are there to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always freed from sin and saved from all distress, as we are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, For everyone who is joining this live mass and desires to receive Holy Communion, let us pray. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. O sacrament most holy. O sacrament divine. O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanks to you, in every moment. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanks to you, in every moment. Jesus, I love you, all I have is yours. Yes, I am. Yes, I want to be. Do with me whatever you will. Jesus, I love you, all I have is yours. Yes, I am, and yes, I want to be. Do with me whatever you will. Jesus, I love you. All I have is yours. Yes, I am, and yes, I want to be. Do with me whatever you will. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now let us have a warm heart. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this postcard sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Join us every day, 7 o'clock in the morning for live Mass, and 6 p.m. in the evening for Adoration and Rosary. May you have a blessed and a happy day today. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down and remain with you all, both now and forever. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Joyful Psalm 306. We fly the fields and stars of the good seed from the land. But it is fair and watered by God's almighty hand. They send the story. Oh,
and rain. All good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. Then thank the Lord, oh thank the Lord, for all his love. All good gifts are